Good evening, Rascal Enjoyers. I hope you're all right. It's time for the Rustle Rotation Showcase. Yes, so the Rustle Rotation happened about six-ish hours ago, around that sort of time, and we had a pretty interesting batch of skins, quite a lot of late picks today. So what we're going to do is just quickly find out, of all these skins, which of these are abnormal? So first up, here we have a lovely batch of weapons with some interesting primitive clothing and then some garage doors, two of them, yes. So that's not abnormal. That's not abnormal. That is abnormal. That's abnormal. That's abnormal. That's abnormal. That's not abnormal. That's abnormal. That's abnormal. That's not abnormal. So for this week, we have one, two, three, four, five, six abnormals. And then we have the likes of four regular skins. Cool. All right, then. So with that, very nice looking rust door. As I said, it's been about six hours since we've seen this rust door rotate. Let's just quickly refresh just to be fully up to date. As you might notice, Neon storage collection kind of evolved even further. We went from lockers to now garage doors, but these were actually submitted about three months ago. I was quite confused when I first saw them. I thought, uh, uh, okay, back then I didn't really think of anything. I didn't really think anything was going to happen. But then, of course, you know, about a month and a half ago, the fuel small box was accepted, and then, you know, all the other small boxes followed suit, and then now, here you go, lockers and garage doors. Okay, I am still under the impression the final small boxes that are submitted berries and um cards that will still probably come out in the future that'll probably be when it actually fully finishes cool with the likes of mob boss coming out yeah we had a lovely spike demand spike in price i did not expect that to happen because both the clothing pieces came out a month ago and then they just kind of follow that up even though that came out a month ago it's weird it's silly um lovely baked bread Bombshell sap, we knew that was definitely going to be accepted. When TGG submits a skin, it's guaranteed to be accepted. It's just a matter of when. And evidently, with this being the final rust draw of July, okay, it's here. And nothing wrong with that. Two very interesting weapon skins. And look, Royal Safari Tier 3 was the one that got selected. So, it'd be a lovely little talk to go through all of these skins. But let's get started with the likes of Neon Garage Doors. So, I'm going to talk about both of these at the same time chat i have to ask you very sincerely stop emote spamming how useful is it for you to have a garage door that says up and down i'm asking sincerely in what ways might you utilize both of these garage doors to be useful to you so as i quickly hop over to here you can see i'm ever so happy and dancing but i just want to quickly make it daytime and i want to go take a look at these two garage doors over here right so as I said, these were actually submitted about three months ago. And you might notice number one, number two. So, of course, that was the order they were submitted. I don't know if we're going to see more of these being produced. Are we going to get a left and a right? Are we going to have up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, hey. Okay. Perfectly fine for what it is. Just makes it easier for people to know what door to blow in a raid. Awesome awesome now you know these could probably be utilized in a fun goofy way as i said up down up down left right left right <laughs> but uh yeah that's if you want to do a cheat code but um overall okay that's cool that's nice how you might want to utilize that feel free to comment below inform me tell me tell everybody but if we could just quickly switch to night time there you go perfectly fine glow in the dark design much like what we saw the likes of the lockers the storages you can see it all for yourself. Very cool. Now, if I could just quickly hop out of here, if I could actually go all the way up to it, just to quickly showcase to you, and you can probably tell, I'm pretty sure, even when it's rolled up, yes, it still glows in the dark. So get a good look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice and very useful. Very helpful. Very cool. Right, so congratulations there, Duck. As I said, who knows if he's going to continue it. Do you need a left and do you need a right? We'll see. <laughs> right. One hop this time. Duh. One hop this time. All right. Anyway. So, uh, cool. That's nice. Let's now talk about how much it's currently selling because uh, it's kind of doing a lot. As I said, it's been about six hours and both of these have done about 4,800 subscribers. At the current rate they're selling, it's probably matching up to the locker from the previous week. So that ended up doing about 23,000 subscribers. At the current rate, at the very least, I'm sitting here and expecting these are going to probably do around 25,000 subscribers. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Cool. But uh, how about in and out? <laughs> in, out, in, out, shake it all about. Right, anyway. 
feel free to go read, you know, the comments, see what he's plotting to do next. I have no idea, but uh, <laughs> cool. I mean, it wasn't intended to come out as a pair. Face Punch just decided today, yeah, let's just go accept both. All right, cool. Um, with that, I really don't know. And I'm being brutally honest with you. Okay, yeah, overall, it is part of the Neon Collection. Because, as I said, garage doors, lockers, small boxes, and da -da 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 large boxes. All right, sweet. You can have a neon base. Awesome. Where's my neon water purifier? Um, You don't need to rush into buying this, all right? If you want it for yourself, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it. But if you're looking at this potentially as an investment, ha, 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 you know what it's going to say, abnormals. If you want to be smarter about it, wait. Please be aware, you know, obviously this can be used potentially in a useful fashion, but we are getting a brand new, absolutely very nice, ever so elegant looking fancy of garage door being given away as a Twitch drop over the course of this weekend for a week, all right? There is a garage door being given away. Potentially, maybe that might affect these sales, we shall see. But I want to wait until Wednesday, playing it safe, I know, I know. I need to see how are people actually going to want to utilize these and whatnot. And, you know... Does it even get used enough? And also, having, well, seen all of the recent skins that are submitted, I'm fully well aware every single week skin creators are constantly putting out very strange, very interesting looking garage doors. Just this past week, we had about nine different garage doors being submitted, and they're all very strange and weird, but very fun in their own ways. So who knows what's going to happen in the future in terms of more acceptances. I've got to show you this one real quickly. It's got a transparent gate right there. <laughs> you can see through that. So I'm pretty much going to sit here and say, yeah, I expect even more gadget doors to be accepted. Last year we had about 28. The year before that we had like 30. We're going to get a lot more. So if you're thinking, oh, this is special, it's totally fine, it's going to be all right. Eh, uh -huh, watch out. So cool, 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 cool. I can't really talk much about that. So, yeah, forwards, backwards, left, right, up, down, twirl around. Uh, yeah, cool. So, lovely piece of work there, Mr. Duck. Very nice. But now I must strike a pose because I am the mob boss and I am stunning. Mr. Venn didn't have to do a single thing. I was questioning why he didn't produce any new skins over the past weekend. He didn't do anything. He just sat there and waited. That was his talent. He didn't have to do anything and he got another acceptance. So just to remind all of you, with the likes of the uh, Mob Boss Burlap clothing, that was submitted a month before it was accepted. And when it was first submitted, the very next weekend, then went ahead and made a, bon uh, a bandana. <laughs> Sorry. A, I say poncho and bandana so much. A boonie hat and a poncho. That also got accepted a month later. Cool, all right. So first thing you might notice, it's not exactly the exact same color black compared to the burlap clothing. Okay, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it's like a blazer. It's not exactly always gonna match up perfectly. And even then, if it did like have the exact same texture as the burlap, that would look a bit weird. So anyway, it still looks stylish. He's going to offer you something that you simply cannot refuse, all right? <laughs> what's next on the horizon potentially i was having a bit of a joke earlier maybe some leather gloves with like a rolex some gold rings would it make sense to have burlap or hide shoes maybe we just need to go to like the actual um boots some stylish leather boots something like that so it might not be a full primitive collection but maybe we should start considering dabbling into the likes of hoodie pants armor we shall see there's plenty of potential for this and based on the sales we saw the previous week with the burlap doing 27,000 subscribers each I'm pretty sure that poncho and boonie hat might sell pretty well now with the arrival of the boonie hat I just want to quickly bring this up I'm sure many of you are well aware of the gentleman's fedora that spiked in price ever so nicely last week that went perfectly with the burlap shirt and pants and yeah there you go get a look at that sitting here about three four dollars oh look that very cool looking mob boss style burlap clothing was accepted it goes well with this hat bought out this went all the way up to about eleven dollars at one point now it sits here around eight dollars that was a massive spike in price but you know eight dollars can't really afford that we well, you know what you could probably afford the likes of this oh yes one dollar forty nine one dollar ninety nine so we'll have to keep our eyes open can Ven produce any more for this we've come up with a bit of a joke he could make a tommy gun you know 
gangsters in like the 1930s that's exactly what they used and whatnot so there's pl still plenty more potential good fun ideas to add to this we shall see but do you like it feel free to comment below how much will this sell potentially i'm looking at it i'm thinking boonie hats haven't exactly done super great this year we've had a bit of a mix you know colander boonie hat mr crabber boonie hat both of these sold for one dollar 49 they did get continuations down 27 down 25 curse boonie hat sold for 99 cents but what followed that was like boots um actually i think that was like one of the later pieces to be accepted but with the curse collection that actually turned into a proper primitive collection mob boss technically is there already but i would like to see some more I just don't really know what else could be added to it right now. That would make sense. As I said, burlap shoes and hide boots probably wouldn't work. Maybe he has to just jump straight in with normal boots. It's up to him. So at the very least, of course, keep an eye on the workshop. See what gets produced in the future. And uh, yeah, right. So estimated sales. Well, I can't really give you a proper good estimate when it's just been a good few hours. But I'll sit here and say it's probably doing at least 20,000 subscribers. I do expect this to sell less than the burlap clothing which, as I said, did end up selling 27,000 subscribers each. And yes, both of them have spiked in demand... Uh, sp spiked, spiked in demand? <laughs> both of them have spiked in demand ever so nicely. My brain is going a little bit awkward there. Sorry about that, chat. <laughs> they are only sitting here with about 30 listings, but in a couple hours' time, more people will be able to list theirs. There will be more people unloading their stock. Of course, it went from $2 to to six dollars wouldn't you want to try and sell yours now as well so be prepared to this going back down in price again but with the added boulders that we've seen chances are this will be retaining its price and going higher for the foreseeable future will it go back down to less than three dollars anytime soon i doubt it but we need to see how this all plays out and with more skins potentially being produced of course all the better for this to continuously keep rising in demand and rising in price potentially right then so get a good look at that Ever so nice and stylish. And I do stand by my point. I need a Rolex on my hand. Mr. Venn. Maybe two Rolexes. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. All right, then. I believe we can now look at the sleeping bag. There you go. Right. Good day, everybody. I'm sure many of you have always dreamt of wanting to sleep in some oven fresh bread. Fresh out of the oven. Nice, warm and cozy. Get a good look at this ever so delightful baguette oh yes look at that now you're probably wondering does it glow in the dark no oh no no it doesn't no so yeah all right maybe that might be a bit of a problem for you potentially but you know if you just went to the bread biome that would perfectly blend in with all the other bread um no <laughs> goofy idea very silly produced by diva dan this skin is not abnormal all right so you might want to think in it for a while but at the very least just get yourself all nice and tucked in here. Oh, look at that ever so soft texture. <laughs> but yeah, we'll question this a little bit because we've had some goofy sleeping bag skins in the past. Let's go see how they're currently holding up. So scrolling down to the likes of the current week. Here we have it sitting here with 2,800 subscribers at the current moment. But in the past, we have had some goofy food-related skins. Last year, we had a burrito, and we also had some fries. Now, the fries are doing very well. The burrito, not so much. But I will sit here and say, this burrito bag did end up very nicely in the positive just about a month ago. It has dropped in value quite a fair bit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It was sitting there about $3 at one point. Now, it looks like it's still trending upwards. It might probably creep back up again. There's not that many listings. So, with the likes of the food-related skins, I'm feeling a little bit optimistic. Not sure why it's doing that at the moment. Please don't start playing games with me. All right, so I'm going to have to do this real quickly. Uh, chat, if you ever deal with a problem where you get this issue, just use a VPN. And I'm going to go do that right now. And away we go. I'm now in a different part of the world. Wink, wink. And if I could just quickly refresh right now, what do we see? It's going to fix itself. Please. You're going to do that at a wonderful pace there, Steam? Come on. So whilst it's waiting to do that, I'm going to go back over to here. I feel optimistic that it'll probably do quite all right. I do expect it to sell quite reasonably. I am going to give you a very rough estimate. I'm expecting around 15,000 subscribers. If we were to quickly look back at the previous sleeping bags from the current year, you might notice that they're not exactly holding up super great. Now, Valentine's gift bag, 
All right, that's cool. But that seems like a recent thing. If I could just quickly look at you real quickly, and as you can see, it's working on Steam now. I think you got bought out. Yeah, I think someone's up to no good here. I think someone's doing a bit of a clean out and making it rise up in value. So keep an eye on that. That's a little suspicious. Giorgio, you've done a decent job retaining your value, but why aren't you more higher valued? Oh, Giorgio, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> well, it sold a lot. Anyway, 8,700 subscribers, 16,000 subscribers. That sold at 99 cents, though. Not $1.49, 99 cents. That's $1.49, the standard price for a sleeping bag. 14,700, 11,500. I am a little bit conflicted, but I'm pretty sure as time goes on, if it ends up exactly like this, hey, maybe the bread would perfectly be fine. You know, I'm going to go butter myself and go relax in there. Like, it's a goofy, silly idea, and I'm pretty sure people will like it. Just give it time. It just needs to rise up a little bit with the yeast. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. I know, I know. But it's not abnormal, so you can't really rely... In waiting until Wednesday you're not going to be able to make use of that so Wednesday next week we're gonna to have to make a straightforward decision are we gonna jump in hold on to it for quite you know quite a reasonable amount of time or just try and stick with a buy order right so that's cool we'll leave that let's now go hop over to here and grab the weapons so yes we got a reasonable batch of weapons here to showcase let me just quickly grab all of these right so which one is currently sending the best at the moment it is the bombshell sap the newest bombshell skin to be accepted it is a hundred percent guaranteed i saw this appear just a few days ago and i was like yep that's getting accepted because we know it's going to be accepted i'm sure many of you are well aware every single week tgg also known as that german guy he reviews all the skins that are submitted to the workshop he makes sure each of the skins are of the quality standard to be accepted. He makes sure there's no copyright issues. He produces his list, and that gets passed on to Face Punch. That happens every single week. As a thank you, every three to four months, Face Punch will grant him a 100% guaranteed skin acceptance. So with a skin creator, he will you know, get a skin made, and then there you go. It's fully accepted it's right there in front of you. Cool. Now, over the past, like, well three what is it four years uh, yeah no it's five five years every three to four months a new batch of skins are accepted very nice very cool and this time it's a set so let's just quickly look at all the saps that came out in recent past and discuss how well this potentially might do and i will sit here and say this perfectly fine looking skin no issues i will say quite a lot of the saps that came out somewhat recently have performed ever so nicely now these saps over here they've been a bit questionable I mean, you could probably look at them and sit there and say, well, they don't look as interesting compared to likes of these and these. Okay, fair enough. But they're only down by 1%, 10%, and 14%. This was actually evens at one point. This was fairly close, and this was actually in the positive at one point. Sap skins do actually perform quite nicely. Give it time, they do work out quite all right. Now, recently, we had the Ronin Sap being accepted. At one point, that was down by about 25%. But it's actually improved a little. So if I could just quickly look at this, see how many you know are listed, only 24. That's ridiculous because on average, with, mo with nearly all the skins on the uh, Rust Steam market, you're going to look at around maybe 100 quantity on average for every single skin. Yeah, certain skins are going to be a little bit absurd with like uh, <laughs> a lot more listings. But yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, that right there, if it does a reasonable amount of sales like the Ronin set, I can imagine it's going to do just as good. So right now, that looks like this. But give it another half a year, or at least until next summer, I will not be surprised in the slightest if that ends up slightly in a positive. Maybe it's only up by 20%, but that's still a profit. Might not be a huge profit, but if you did it, you know, if you bought with if you bought it with a buy order, maybe that might work out a lot better. Yes. Now just to quickly point this out, the bombshell set, that is not abnormal. It's uh, a regular skin. That will only become marketable when the rust rotates next week. But I will sit here and say this. I don't really think it's going to sell insanely. Yeah, the initial rush of sales, it looks pretty good. But I'm pretty sure it'll probably cool down pretty quickly. Maybe this only does about 10,000 subscribers as well. Maybe that does work out quite nicely. But at the very least, let's go give it a proper look. So here is the set. Give it a good look at that. Looking ever so nice. That is a red aim sight, as you can see. We could probably just do this real quickly. I know a lot of people like to ask, so well, bam, we are at night. Where did the lights go? I don't know. But as you can see, you can vaguely see the back of the set. If that's useful to you, okay, there we go. We showed it off to you. Now, if I could just put myself over here on display, holding this, and away we go. Let's get a good look at the design. Right. 
looking ever so nice. Spit. Is it? Uh, what, what was it? Sky Sharks? What's the uh, proper name of these? I've forgotten. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, you got the cool looking Sky Shark right there. Now, if I could just quickly make it night time. There you go. So, to be honest, it's a silvery set with a cool looking face. Does that sound appealing to you? Probably. And I'll be honest with you, I think it'll be totally fine. If you like it, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it. But if you're looking at it as an investment, wait until we, uh, you know next Wednesday. But honestly, sap skins tend to be very, very nicely reliable. So, cool, 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 cool. Lovely piece of work there, whoever made it. And best of luck to TDG with uh, more skins in the future. What skin would you like to see next? Because, of course, we've had pretty much tons of doors. We've had plenty of weapons. Maybe a wooden door or a wooden double door. We haven't had a wooden double door so far this year, so I'm just saying there's an opening. Okay, cool. So we'll see what happens next. So awesome. Right, let's move on to the next skin then. Let's talk about the Deep Monster AR. That's done 1,500 subscribers, produced by Mr. Himmick. I actually saw the skin last week, and it does look very good, and I'm about to show it off to you in a second. But let's just quickly remind ourselves how the AK-47 skin is doing right now in terms of investments, and oh dear, oh dear. Now, that's only just become marketable. We'll question that a week later. Look at the Ditto AR, for example, down by 48%. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so that's a look at a little bit, uh, and then all the other skins, uh, but Thunder Gold AK is still doing an ooh. So that's, you know, still doing all right. But uh, yeah, pretty much all the AKs over the past two years, not exactly holding up very well. We say this every single week. Come on now, you should have expected that. All right, so we've got the AK right here. Get a good look at this. Very nice, shiny. You've got the scales of the deep monster. There was it, deep sea monster? What's the proper term? It was Deep Monster. All right. I'm pretty sure the workshop name was like Sea Monster or something. <sighs> Let's just not question heads too much. Okay. So you can't really see it very well. You can vaguely see the outline. Just get a name site. <laughs> right. Over to here real quickly. Get a good look at that on stage. See my teeth. Uh, and yeah. Look at all the barnacles. Yeah, it needs like a scratch or a clean up. Yeah. <laughs> Looking very nice. Night time. Here we go. Right. Looking very nice with the colour scheme. You can see like sort of vague sort of like tiger stripes. That's interesting. All right. So, Mr. Himmick, let's see what you produce next. And I will sit here and confirm to you there is also a saw skin on the workshop. So this very likely could turn into a proper collection. We shall see how all of this turns out. If you're feeling optimistic, maybe wait it out a little bit longer. As I said, this is not abnormal. You're going to want to see how many sales happen. Look, at the end of the day, if you like the skin, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support that skin creator, keep it nice and motivated, keep wanting to put out nice creator designs in the future. And, you know, not every single thing has to be an investment. If you just like the skin, just go buy it for yourself. Enjoy it, appreciate it. Right, now we can move on to the next skin then. Let's go talk about the likes of the LR300. This was an early pick. And I'm not surprised to see it being accepted because it looks ever so nice. Mr. Bad Trip, Mr. Hulk, putting out a very nice, ever so cool looking feudal style Japan skin. Feudal Japan style, I should have said. Yeah. All right. Let's go over to here. Daytime. And quick little inspection. Very nice. Aim down. Very useful. And if I were to just quickly show night time, because people will ask, you can't really see it super well. Yeah. So you asked, you see it. There you go. So with the likes of that, it's an LR300. I will be questioning that immediately. Uh, even with the buff that we got back in May, uh, the LR300 skins just have not really changed much. It's unfortunate to say. Now, ones of notable collections have performed quite nicely, but all the other ones, not so much. So Apophis, you only just became marketable. I will not be surprised in the slightest if you probably end up like that and that. Down 57, down 53. Ooh. The recent Twitch drops we got were very cool. Maybe people just don't feel the need to buy that many because that only did 8,400 subscribers. We'll see what Ronan does. Obviously, with this being part of a collection, maybe things will be different. But looking at all of that, not, not, it's not holding up well, is it? Scroll down a little bit more. Redemption's doing all right. Cybercode's doing all right. And if I scroll down a little bit further, we can remind ourselves of the Blackout LR300. Now, when we saw that back about, what, two months ago, when the uh, update came out, that went all the way up to like 4 5 $6, if I can remember. Now it's back down to $2.70. Yeah, I don't think people cared that much about the changes with the LR300. 
So if people aren't actively wanting to use the weapon that much, where's the justification to uh, want to you know want the skins? So yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but shooty shooty, reload, get a good look at that. Looks cool. I'm sure you've seen this many times with all the other skins. Let's just get a quick look at the likes of all of the others. Pretty much all the weapons, it might end up being a situation where we're probably only going to do uh, 60 cents to 80 cent boulders. Now, that's if we want to play extra safe. But I've made a huge fuss about many skins in, you know, in recent Rust stores, how we want to play it safe. We know, as time goes on, look at the player count right now, it ain't looking as good as it was last month. And chances are, during August, the exact same thing. Now, let me just get this across to you. 92,700 average player count for the whole month is actually really, really good. It's just not as good as what we had the previous month. We are now slowly starting to see less people play the game. Next month will be the exact same thing. And then when we hit September, October, November, that's when it's at its worst point. Autumn full seasonal dip. Be prepared. When you look at last year's summer, and there goes to August, and then here we are. A third of the people disappear. Kids went back to school. Less people play the game. Less demand for skins. Lower skin prices. You want to look at these and be careful, all right? Now, we don't have to talk about that right now. We can save it until next week when we do the abnormal barders. But all three of those are not abnormal, and we don't have that useful time advantage. So be prepared for something potentially going a bit all right. And all you're going to do is just look at some of the rust doors from, like, recent past look at the weapon skins for example uh oh cold hunter water pipe you're doing perfectly fine you're retaining but you're only up by three percent pirate mp5 down 12 percent rural safari star down 11 have you improved today with the tier three we'll discuss that in a bit and then over to here with the likes of road renegades i look at the weapon skins and uh, down 48 and down one okay quarantine thompson you're actually doing pretty good so some of these recent skins are actually doing quite all right i wonder how they perform as time goes on a little bit further. Oh, raw so far. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> right, then. So, we've done enough about that yapping. Let's now showcase the Tier 3 armor. So, just to quickly get the point across to all of you, this past weekend, we had some very notable Tier 3 pieces being submitted. We had continuations for Hellriders. We had Royal Safari. And we had Cold Hunter. Royal Safari was picked. So, I guess you could call it the winner. Right, so this is technically part of a collection. I mean, it is. I mean, you've got the weapons right there. Why would it not be? But I just want to quickly find out, did the spike them on today with the arrival of Tier 3 armor? And that's only got 20 listings. Did you bump up? Well, I can see people bought a bunch, but it was pretty low in price because it dropped off pretty dramatically. AK-47s. Ugh. And then SAR skins. Well, this I just looked at a second ago. It's only got six listings. I'm pretty sure that got bought out as well. So it was dropping down a fair bit at one point. That only sold for a dollar literally about 24 hours ago almost. 23, 22, 22. And uh, yeah, it did have a bit of a buyout. Cool, 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 cool. So people do care when you get clothing and armor after only having weapons and tools. So if I could just quickly have a quick change. Let's just quickly go into here. Drop this off. All the weapons, all of these clothing pieces, and now I'm going to be an absolutely stunning golden tiger. Get a good look at me. I am ever so shiny. Look at that. <laughs> right, so pretty cool, very stylish, lovely piece of work, Mr. Hooker, Mr. Alloy. Now, by default, we can anticipate the potential arrival of tier two or tier uh, or hoodie and pants. You might be sitting there and wondering, didn't we just have Commando Tier 3 recently? You are correct, and you're probably wondering, why haven't we seen any continuations for that? I spoke to the skin creator. Turns out, when he submitted the skin, two days later, he went on vacation. So when he comes back, he does intend to do Tier 2. So if you're wondering what happened to Commando Tier 3, Tier 2 is apparently going to be readily prepared for this upcoming weekend. So at least you know now. Cool, 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 cool. I wonder if that potentially could conflict with the likes of this Royal Safari Tier 3. Maybe they might need to talk with each other. You get the idea. So, on the horizon, Royal Safari, golden hoodie and pants. Royal Safari Tier 2. All right. By default, new core pieces being accepted. Spike demand, spike and price. We saw the spikes demand, spikes and price with the likes of primitive skins today. Of course, same thing is expected with the likes of the, uh, you know, higher tier clothing. But uh, this is the lowest, lowest selling skin so far, isn't it? So if I could just quickly pop back over to here. We are only looking at 1,500 subscribers for these skins so far. It has definitely been 
six hours now so if i look at these right i don't know why i looked at their mark i, I don't know why i did that i meant to look at their workshop pages <laughs> i can confirm to you oh wow it's hardly changed it's still only 1,500. Guys, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking maybe it's only going to do about 10,000 subscribers. Now, they are selling at slightly higher prices, $1.99. But, like, what do you reckon? Because I'm pretty sure the skin creators here, they're going to probably whip, whip out that continuation very quickly. Like, literally this weekend. Keep your eyes peeled. Look at the workshop. You know what to do. But uh, have people asked? No one's actually asked yet. Let me sit here and tell you, of course, they're going to make a continuation very nice and quickly. Maybe they already have a weapon prepared and they want to put that out this weekend. Who knows? But by default, that's looking very interesting. With a sheer lack of potential purchases, if we do see those new core pieces being accepted, all the better for it to rise up in price. Spikes in demand and spikes in price are ever so nice. And if you want to go for a little bit of a risk, you could probably jump in and buy some now. If you think, potentially... As early as next week, we might see more Royal Safari stuff. Now, that's all up in the air. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I will probably just stick with doing a barter still. Now, as I said, whilst there's potentially a, a lot of optimism, I kind of look at the likes of the Black Gold collection because haven't we seen a mix of Black Gold before? Yes, of course we have. Look over here. Now, they are completely different still. That's obviously more black compared to gold, and that's obviously more gold compared to black. But, uh... I don't even think you could mix that up that much. Uh, not really, and it's not like that's cheap. <laughs> so at the very least, do you like it? Feel free to comment. If I could just quickly switch this to night time. It does give off more of a darker appearance, but it is still shiny. All right, cool. So lovely piece of work there, guys. I expect to see more. I look forward to seeing more, I, sh I guess I should say. Keep up that good work. And yeah, where's those clothing pieces, huh? Right then, so that is all of the skins from the current week. I will definitely lean more to the idea of play it safer. With the likes of my uh, you know, videos that you see here, you should be well aware of my investing reviews for Rust Doors. So many skins drop off very quickly at the moment. It's kind of ridiculous. It's better to play it safer than be sorry. But, you know, with some of the people that played it a bit risky last night and put down a stronger builder for the likes of the uh, Mob Boss Burlap stuff, well, they've probably walked away with a lot of profit, potentially. They're in a very interesting spot. But I have seen quite a lot of the recent Rust Doors drop off very badly, and if you want to be smarter with your money, you probably want to wait until around October to pick up these skins, potentially for a much cheaper price. Right. So, with that... I can now quickly talk about the likes of uh, being prepared for some other things. So if I could just quickly bring up the likes of my Rust Workshop skin checks. As I say, every single week, I'm looking at all the newest skins. And as you can see, I provide all the continuations in chapters. Oh look, there's Royal Safari. Let's skip ahead. Uh, we have Royal Shut up you, I'm the one talking. So there you go, I'm literally talking about Royal Safari there. I question, oh, do I want to jump in and invest into the weapons and whatnot? Cool. I also bring up over to here the bombshell set. We knew that this was definitely going to be accepted. It was guaranteed. We know how this works. So you could have been well informed out of all, you know, with all of that if you watch. So consider watching. And uh, if you're concerned about the lockers, so let's quickly look at last week's skins now. Let's quickly dabble into the likes of that. We have got the final locker skin, it appears. I don't believe we're going to be seeing another one. That only did 23,000 subscribers. Initially, it looked like it was going to do better than the hazmat locker, but evidently, no, it did about 2,000 less. No, it's not like there's that much difference, but anyway. For the foreseeable future, <laughs> will they hold up all right, or will they end up a bit questionable? Well, there you go. Look at that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I am worried. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to hold up ever so nicely. When I looked at these on Monday, they only had like a... Well, this one only had 118 quantity, and this only had 180 quantity on the Steam market. This now has 228. This now has 271. If you thought that was bad, well, it's expected to potentially go even lower, of course, around October time. So if you want to be a little bit more informed in regards to how that might behave, consider giving this a good watch. I make a lovely little comparison to the likes of the From Hell Locker, which is basically how I expect these to behave. Yeah, they're going to dip down in price during the you know the most the, the next bad time, but gradually over time, towards the next the summer, it's going to rise up in price ever so nicely again. So consider giving that a good watch. Ten minutes, you'll be well informed of all of that. Very cool. 
and let's go to start yapping about last week's skins so back over to the likes of here we have last week and as you can see as i've already mentioned mob boss burlap shirt and pants twenty-seven thousand subscribers they have spiked in demand ever so nicely spiked in price ever so nicely if you happen to earn any and it's marketable I would consider grabbing that profit while she can because i don't expect those prices to hold forever if we do see more continuations well we shall see now as i said with the likes of locker consider watching that video that i prepared i talk all about that specifically with the amount of sales it had that's fine but there's no other locker that's coming out that's going to give that a boost yes we got the garage doors today but i don't think that really cared that much so be concerned a little bit a smart builder can still work out ever so nicely how low will it go my rough estimate is about a dollar fifty so we shall see moving on we had the likes of two sheet middle doors that week didn't we now at the moment apparently they're listed at four dollars sixty and six dollars fifty that's ridiculous but just remember everybody who bought this the previous week currently does not have the ability to sell it it only just became marketable last night we'll see how things turn out but the expectation is is they will slowly drop drop off and go down in price so yes just because it's listed at that price doesn't necessarily mean it's worth that price just wait it out and lo and behold oh dear oh dear give it a month then look at it <laughs> so cool that ice eye door did 12,800 subscribers the frog door did 8,000 subscribers there will be more sheet metal doors and unfortunately they very likely ain't going to retain their value garage door so oh look we questioned last night will there be more garage doors in the future yes <laughs> yes so uh, okay it is part of a collection we're hoping to see some more continuations appear we're going to have to wait for this weekend see what mr robstar is going to produce it only did 12,400 subscribers yeah it's in a reasonable spot we need to see more continuations but we do have that weird uh, deplorable uh, with trend basically so many brand new deplorable collections got started this year but they stopped after two or three acceptances and yeah that's currently at three will we see more than that only one collection this year has had more than three shadowborn and even shadowborn right now ain't exactly looking super pretty because that's also dropping off plenty of skins are slowly slowly starts to go down in price pretty much all of them peaked back around mid-june and as we get closer to october it's expected to only get worse sorry to say but i've warned you now you know chalkminus wood door hey we've been seeing a lot more of these chalkminus skins being produced just this past weekend we saw a gadget door being produced apparently this has one listing of 500 dollars what <laughs> no just confirming that real quickly okay cool so uh yeah wooden doors i don't have a lot of faith in them evidently these people don't have a lot of faith in them this was a regular skin this was regular skin and as you can see nah it hasn't got that much support i don't think it's going to retain that two dollar 49 price oh no it's one dollar 49 even then even then even if it's cheaper it still doesn't look like it's holding it up a poffy seller 300 was another uh, skin that was regular that only just became marketable when the rust all rotated i didn't even put down a bar order on this and i can tell you right now the highest bar is only 70 cents that's a little bit awkward is that going to retain its value probably not but with a sheer lack of sales potentially this could probably do better if hardly any people list it maybe it might work out all right maybe maybe we'll see uh we've also got the mk ultra custom smg uh one quick look at all the custom smg skins that came out so far this year you'll see that pretty much every single one of them is down pretty bad uh at least 25 percent down yeah yep yeah, so uh builders well they basically ended at about 80 cents but then a few more people have appeared maybe some people missed out on buying this and they feel the need to want to buy it on the rust or uh, rust steam market right here okay cool but will it actually stick around that two dollar price we'll see but you know but it did only eight thousand subscribers maybe it'll be all right maybe maybe madness they are you are just very straightforward like your uh, gray ak cool and apparently your lowest listing is only six dollars at the moment the bar is only going up to 70 cents is that worth six dollars no no it will slowly slowly go down so we'll see how that turns out you only did 7800 subscribers and to my surprise the neanderthal poncho and bandana well they only have done around 5500 or 5900 subscribers this was a collection continuation for the neanderthal primitive collection this hide clothing here really didn't move that much and i'm quite surprised by that but this right here last night it was abnormal we did our buy orders they only went up to about 80 cents as you can see here will we see more neanderthal stuff being produced well zinc is juggling both the ice eye collection and the neanderthal collection 
Uh, I gave him a very good suggestion for an idea. We'll see if he produces it. I'll point it out in the future if it happens, and if, we'll see if it gets accepted. But, yeah, looks like they're probably going to go down to around 80 cents unless we see some more things being produced. But regardless, the Anderfield collection as a whole does look pretty cool, you know. So do you want to run around as a caveman? There you go. <laughs> Actually, no, I should get it with the boots. The boots and the boonie hat. There we go. So does that look stylish to you? A primitive man! <laughs> well, it's right there and available potentially with the boonie hat and the boots in the future. Maybe next week. It is August Force Wipe next week. So be prepared for such a thing. Let me just quickly delete a lot of these things that we don't need to see anymore. Make some space. Just to quickly showcase to you the uh, scores for the accepted skin today. Get a good look at that. Yeah, so uh, those neon storage uh, garage doors were very in demand with plenty of upvotes compared to downvotes. Whoa. To my surprise, the Deep Monster AK-47 had a lot as well. Cool. But uh, with all the skins this week, every single one of them was in the positive. Very nice to see. Right, so today we peaked at only 128,000. That's fine for the last week. That's fine. This month has been perfectly fine, but we are still slowly going down. What to expect for the likes of next week? Well, of course, potentially... Oh, look, Tiger got mentioned again. Oh, okay, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Oh, yes, we are. We will be talking more about that in a bit. But I was under the impression maybe Redtown Redux was probably going to be ready by next week. They've been working on that but for about four months. That tin can alarm seems to be ready, potentially. There's going to be a lot of fixes. I would like to look forward to it. Uh, Wolf... Wolves are potentially going to be smarter now with improved AI. Okay, that's cool. Let's just quickly up here. All right, nothing else has changed. Right, so over the past month... We've been seeing a lot more mentions in regards to the jungle ruins. Just to give you a quick little insight, it seems they've only just started grey boxing it. What's grey boxing? Well, when it comes to level design, it's essentially a matter of, okay, so I simply want to just get a good idea of how much area I'm going to utilise and how big the architecture is going to be. You're going to probably have something as simple as that. And you're going to get a good feel of it. You're going to test it around. Okay, you're probably satisfied with that. Now let's go add some actual textures. Well, bam, there you go. This is apparently what the jungle ruins is currently looking like. And then eventually it'll be like that. But that might take like months until they're satisfied. <laughs> Red Turn Redux is a perfect example. So yeah, it really does look like potentially on the horizon we're going to have that jungle biome. Potentially at the end of this year. Maybe November, maybe December. We shall see. But it's being worked on. Tiger's got mentioned again. Oh, look, cool. Tiger and Panther trophy models. Awesome. They're going to eat me so much, I'm scared of the jungle. <laughs> right. Dense forest. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be any interesting clothing and armor pieces that potentially might be a uh, nice camouflage. I wonder if we'll get Jungle Raiders set. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect timing, eh? We, we think alike. So I'm pretty sure we'll probably see something like that. That'd be cool. That'd be nice. Do you know what, by default, maybe the uh, Reptile Hunter collection is like the perfect shade of green. We don't know yet because we haven't seen it. So we'll see. But Jungle Ruins would definitely imply a jungle. So they've done a pretty good job of hiding any mentions of an actual brand new biome. But uh, Jungle Ruins kind of implies... We'll see. Again, nothing is officially, like, guaranteed. Like, nothing's actually been officially said. But from what we can see from the commits... We can guess. We can fantasize. Maybe it's just a random one-off island in the distance or something. We got it completely wrong. Now, Mr. Micro, you did say in the past Caldera was mentioned. And they are basically blown-up volcanoes. Uh, a caldera is a large cauldron-like hollow that forms shortly after emptying of the magma chamber in a volcanic eruption. That was mentioned in a hack week a year ago from Face Punch themselves. So maybe we could potentially see a volcano caldera with a jungle around it, kind of like that, with all the green there. That might be pretty interesting. A little lake inside it. Okay, cool. All right, we'll see. Uh, you're going to sit there fishing, just mind your own business, and then tiger. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? But this was mentioned in a previous hack week by Face Punch themselves in the commits. So lots of things were mentioned in the past. Will it all potentially add up to a very interesting update in the future? We shall see. Cool. So we got that all nice and said. August 4 swipe though, probably just going to be a whole bunch of fixes. I would like to see Redtown Redux being ready for it. It feels like it's time, but 
nothing's been officially said yet so over the course of the rest of the next week they'll probably start mentioning things on twitter and uh, yeah we can look forward to it but if they don't even mention red term redux it's highly doubtful so it's just probably going to be updates and fixes and whatnot cool right what else needs to be addressed well what's happening over the course of this weekend oh i don't know uh ooh, a twitch event Global Warfare 2, yes, in, well, 20 hours for me, but, uh, well, 19, we've got six brand new Twitch drops that are going to be given away over the course of seven days. July 26th to August 2nd, you will have access to six Twitch drops. All you have to do is watch anyone streaming Rust on Twitch. It's as simple as that. Now, make sure your Twitch account is connected to your Steam account. Make sure of that, please. But you only have to watch one person for 12 hours. You'll get all six of those skins. All right? It's as simple as that. They, they are generic. You don't have to watch anyone in particular. Just watch anyone streaming Rust. Oh, I wonder who's going to be streaming Rust over the course of this weekend. So, yeah, I'm involved in the uh, Global Warfare 2 event. I have an absolutely terrible spot. <laughs> So uh, if I could just quickly show this, I'm wedged all the way up here in the north. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna spawn like here, and I've got to get all the way over there. So if you want to, if you watch me very stressed out, you're more than welcome to come watch me and laugh at me. Now we should also just quickly point this out. If you want to get a good look, or if you want to get a good look at all the Twitch drops, I did do a very nice showcase over here. Mr. Fancy Orb himself did ask me. Hey, could you show off all these skins? I'd love for you to do that. And I obliged, and I did it, and he was right there, and he was very happy with what I did. So if you want to get a good look at all those skins, you can look at that right there. Cool, 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 cool. And if I could just quickly remind all of you, Global Warfare 2 event is a charity event supporting the Animal Humane Society. I'm not literally reading it. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. But yeah, it's a charity event. It's all for fun. So if you do happen to want to jump in and take part, uh, number one, enjoy the queue. Number two, it's all for fun. It's not to be taken too seriously. I do believe it's technically supposed to be an RP event, but it's all for a good cause. If we just quickly go hop over to the Tiltify, as you can see, all the donations are here. They're aiming to raise up to $50,000. And if you want to go offer some money, they'd greatly appreciate it. Please try and not, like, add stupid things such as hedges, hedge, hedges, mum, hedges, dent, hedges, foot, hedges, burnt pasta. I don't know why. Even Glassolio sits there and says disco mask. I'm being bullied. But it's for a good cause, apparently. This is this is a bad representation, I guess. <laughs> but hey, I can deal with it. I can live with that. If it's for a good cause, it's for a good cause. So that kicks off 7 o'clock in the evening uk time tomorrow that being friday july 26 uk time 7 p.m all right so i'll be here on stream look in the description of this video you can see the links to all the socials cool awesome so we got that all nice and addressed as i said twitch drops this weekend july 26 to august 2nd however whilst we're well aware of the fancy of twitch drops it appears Another event is going to happen in August. Yes, Zichum announced this with his hoodie right there. Alone in Tokyo with a very cool looking garage door right there. Showcasing that between August 8th to August 18th, there's going to be some Twitch drops apparently. Now, in recent time, I have seen some very interesting skins being submitted to the workshop, like Taurus AK right there. You've also got the likes of this base trade depot box. We've also seen Oil Rats' uh, water pipe shotgun, which apparently hasn't had an update recently. But yeah, there appears to be something going on in August 8th to 18th. So be prepared for that. I bet the proper announcement will be next week with the uh, August force wipe. So be prepared for that. Cool. So uh, that's been addressed. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I need to say other than I look forward to everybody who wants to jump in and say hello during this event. I am intending to get a racetrack set up. That's my wonderful little sketch right there. We're going to use up as much land as we can because we really don't have that much. We don't even have that much resources. It's going to be a problem. You're going to see me so stressed out. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Doggerland. I'm literally the North Sea. So <laughs> we'll probably just post a lot of pictures of dogs everywhere yeah right there's also one extra thing i just wanted to point out aside from the likes of twitch drops we also happen to have a brand new tc skin with great thanks to mr protox you can go see him on twitter and of course on, also on youtube you can see that right there he showcases that there is a brand new tc skin all you have to do is use the shockbite services hosting services and uh, as a promotion 
you will get this brand new TC skin, which we're about to see in a second. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Protox, for showcasing this. So I could just skip ahead. There we go. Yeah, looks like an old computer. So yeah, go ahead and keep an eye on what Mr. Protox is pointing out on the likes of Twitter. And of course, go give him a good look on the likes of YouTube. He's always showcasing brand new content that's on staging. And, you know, he's keeping people like me informed. So if that looks appealing to you, well, maybe consider looking up for a plan in which you could probably get that. I believe the cheapest plan is $10, and it's quite literally mentioned here by Mr. Protox himself. So, yeah. Thank you very much for that, sir. Keep up the good work. And I believe that's a wrap. And basically, I think we got everything mentioned, everything said. Was that said in a reasonable amount of time? Probably not, but you know what Hedge is like. That was good enough. <laughs> so once again thank you very much to everyone who watched i hope you appreciated the skins this week i hope the showcase was reasonable now oh i've just remembered there's one more thing i'll point out hmm, do i want to do that of course i do because there is charitable ruskins right here in front of me what's this well basically if you aren't fully well aware yeah i i did almost forget i'm not sitting here saying that was all intended <laughs> charitable rust 2024 twitch drops contest is almost finished yes over the past month many people People have submitted some very interesting skins if you do not remember this is all in an effort to help out direct relief this year the uh, charitable rust event I believe is happening October 12th 2024 is that correct mr. micro you could quickly inform me if I'm correct there and believe I believe that's when it's taken place now what's going on with the likes of these well skin creators have the opportunity to take part in this contest to submit some skins in relation to the charity and there will be some winners picked out of all of these they will become twitch drops in october during the charitable rust event so get a, get a good look at this i will link this in the description of this video scroll down take a look there and get a good idea what potentially could be picked and just to be nice i've picked out a good selection here real quickly let's go take a look at them right let's get some good lighting right here and away we go so, Mr. Zetskipper Dark Schneider, they have put out a sheet metal double door, of course. But it's got transparency. Get a good look at that. Yeah, you can peep through that, can't you? Nice and colourful. Very cool. Lovely piece of work. And, of course, lights in the dark. Very nice. As I look over to the floor here, Mr. Y9J has put out a very interesting orange and very comfy on your toes rug right here. So, get a good look at that. What do you reckon? Well, you could show your support, I guess. I don't think it matters too much because the people organising the event are the ones who are going to be picking the prizes. So there you go. Glows in the dark as well. Look a very, very nice. Good job there, Mr. one on j As I look over to here, Mr. Voodoo with a garage door. Uh, I believe all of those are solar panels. Very nice and reflective. Oh, that looks very nice. And of course, you might have seen it yourself. Glows in the dark. Ever so bright. So lovely piece of work. And I do believe you've also made this a large box as well. So... Uh, a care package, I guess you could call it. All the useful things people need when a disaster happens. Which, of course, is exactly what Direct Relief is all about. So, yeah. At the end of this week, that's it. That's the end. I don't know when the actual winners are announced. But when they are announced, we'll know what the Twitch drops are going to be. And I will just point this out real quickly. Last year, one of the winners actually became a skin... That was sold in the rust door so just to point this out during the week we have charitable rust we're going to have a charitable rust door which i could just quickly remind you what it looks like over to here so if i could just quickly go on SCM into abp go through here charitable rust week was during when was it it was there we are perfect it was october 12th Last year in 2023, you might remember we had the Charitable Rust Garage Door, and we also had the likes of the Charitable Rust Hoodie, the Charitable Rust MP5, and the AK-47. Yes, they sell at a slightly higher price, but they always look ever so nice and stylish, and it's all for a good cause. That is kicking off in about two and a half months' time, so I hope you're looking forward to it. And remember, that is also for a very good cause as well. So if you want to get yourself nice and familiarised with some very interesting skins, look, a jackhammer. We haven't had one of those all of this year, have we? Maybe you might want to get a good look at that. Cool. Right, I am really out of breath now because I've been talking non-stop. But I hope I've showcased everything very nicely to all of you. And yeah, that's all kicking off in October. Yep, October 12th. You can see it right there on a Saturday. I will be there. I will be streaming that as well. Cool. <laughs> right. Feel free to comment below what 
have interested you today. It appears Brid has surpassed Poncho. Brid has surpassed Poncho. Cool. Have a lovely week. I'll catch you later. See you goodbye. Bye. And of course, if you want to watch me during the event, I'll greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to consider donating to the Tiltify. Please, please, please be nicer to me. Come on now. I don't need this. I'm trying my best. What did I do to you?